Hello, my name is Robert Farley and as a teacher I'm Professor of Trumpet and Baroque Trumpet at Trinity Le Barn and Professor of Trumpet and Baroque Trumpet at the Royal Academy of Music in London. As a performer I play the modern trumpet as a freelancer with many of the UK's leading orchestras including Bournemouth Symphony Orchestra, the Philharmonia Orchestra and the English National Opera. I also play the Baroque Trumpet which is one of these and I play with the Hanover Band as principal trumpet, the same with the 16 Choir and Orchestra and Canzona, and I'm also principal trumpet with Concerto Copenhagen in Denmark and principal trumpet in the Carmel Bach Festival in California. I'd like to say thank you very much for the video you sent. I really enjoyed it. I thought there was some wonderful bravura and characterful playing, lots of enthusiasm, and I really appreciated that. Before we talk about specifics, I think we could talk about a few general points. I think the first point, which is very, very important, is that you really try not to rush. Your sixteenths tended to be crushed, and as a result, the whole movement slowly tumbled forwards and gained momentum, leaving you high and dry a couple of times, finding it very difficult to play the notes that are on the page. So I think a little bit of metronome work would really, really help with this, just to stabilise that uh, tempo so that you have more of a chance of doing the best performance that you possibly can. Secondly, I think it would be nice to explore the lighter side of the trumpet to counteract the beautiful loud playing that you tend to do. I think we can just exaggerate the lines of the music. And thirdly, there was a slight tendency uh, as you went into the upper register to gain a little bit of pitch, go slightly sharp. And I thought I detected a little bit of tension in the shoulders and the biceps. And as you went up, the tension made your pitch slightly rise. So try and stay relaxed, try, try and stay calm, keep the breathing free, support from the diaphragm, and that will help enable you to stay relaxed all the way through the piece and then you'll get a really, really good performance and be really strong at the end. So dealing with some more specifics, I'd like to say a few things about the Hummel Trumpet Concerto. Uh, it was written at the end of the Baroque period going into the Classical period and was originally written for a keyed trumpet, something like a clarinet with five keys um, on a Baroque trumpet, but double wound. It was originally an E natural, um, but it's become popular to play it in E flat as this is a slightly easier key to play it in. This brings me to the choice of your speed. I thought it was a very, very brave choice and I thought you did a very, very good job on the B flat trumpet. I think that your choice of speed is probably down to listening to CDs and live recordings that you might have heard. And these will almost certainly have been played on the E flat trumpet, which makes these speeds uh, a lot easier to play at and to maintain. So I would suggest that you pick a slightly slower speed, which will help with you playing it on the B-flat trumpet, and explore maybe the musical side of the piece rather than turning it into a technical exercise and um, making more of the technique side of it. Also, um, you could shape the lines a little bit more, and this would exaggerate the musicality of it and it would give you many more facets to your performance for people to listen to. Let me try and demonstrate. and it becomes a little bit more musical, a little bit more interesting. So then let's go on to the, the next thing that um, springs to mind. Just occasionally you have a tendency to elongate the last note of each phrase, make it longer than it actually is. For example, the first section there, I believe you played um, a quarter note, um, a half note instead of a quarter note. 
excuse me. Um, the same with the top C, an absolutely fantastic top C, but it should only be a quarter note, not a half note. So these notes um, that I've given on the opening section, they will sustain us right the way through to bar 100 in normal edition and the IMSLP bar 432, where we go into the minore section, the minor key. Now, I think it would be really nice in this section if we could explore the more intimate, introspective side of the trumpet, maybe adopt a slightly sadder uh, approach to the music, maybe even um, play slightly slower to give yourself a little bit more chance with some of the more technical, technically demanding sections. Um, I think also we can explore that quieter style of playing that we were talking about in the lines and shapes in the opening section. Let me try and demonstrate. character and I think it contrasts now beautifully with that opening section. This brings us through to the last section starting in the Maggiore um, section. I think here we have a lot of interjections coming out of the orchestra and again I think these can come out from a, a quieter dynamic, come up and go away again. This also brings me to another little note that uh, just the second interjection we have this triple tonguing section and I think it's very important that if you breathe there, you don't have the breath interrupting the rhythmical flow. There was a tendency to go, so it was slightly late. So make sure that you really count, and that's really, really rhythmical. So again, you play a few of these interjections, try and again keep them less forceful and a little bit more playful. comes out of the texture and is more exciting and balances against the strings or the piano if you're playing with the piano. There is one other thing I think there might be a mistake in your part. In the trill section towards the end, the long D trill, there should be a break after the first four bars and then two more bars after that. So I would suggest trill for three bars, stopping on that fourth bar for a quarter note restarting the trill for the final two bars and then coming out with the appoggiatura into the C, for example. That's what that sh bit should sound, sound like. I hope that all makes sense and that these are, aren't um, overt criticisms and that they will all help towards improving your performance. And I really look forward to um, a follow up video um, if you feel like it and we can see how things have improved. In the meantime, I'll just play through the last movement for you and you get a rough idea of the whole arc of the movement.
Thank you very much.